found out about the National Guard mm-hmm. and how they pay for persons to go to school and their tuition assistant program is very good. So I joined in October of 2011 and that's how I, get start- that's how I got started. Life has been interesting. Right now, it is better than how it used to be when I first got here. My name is Risha Armstrong and I'm 23 years old, mm-hmm. originally from Barbados. I like to swim and dance. I currently go to York College pursuing a major in pharmaceutical science. I haven't entered mm-hmm. into this arena. I love it. Like I want to become an officer and I could see this becoming a career path of mine uh-huh. while at the same time doing my dream. I wish I had joined earlier. It's making me a better person in terms of how I use my time. Um, the people that I know that can tell me about opportunities to get me to my dream, which is to become a pharmacist and um, a doctor. A lot of people that I've met who started, they say they joined it for the money. They don't like to say that out loud, but you know. But after being part of the team, you start to become more patriotic. It's a way of life. That's what you're taught. A lot of people work and a lot of people go to school, but they use a the school to, you know, advance in in the army, in the National Guard. So this is also very school based. And a lot of people who are working right now, they are like trying to pay off school loans. So they push that. In the National Guard, you work part-time. So one weekend per month. Sometimes the weekends can be from Friday to Sunday or just Saturday and Sunday. I took the oath. I am a citizen. I was in Missouri that particular time. When I came back to New York City, I got my certificate. The person who was officiating that particular time, like to the immigrants, telling them that you can become a citizen, and they were asking who want to, you know, become citizens. The Army's rationale is that you have given your time of service from your homeland. So the least they can do is give you citizenship for America. If you show strong leadership skills and the ability to be, you know, plutonic and not necessarily biased because you're a female in position, you're always going to choose females or put males to be degrading, you find that those sergeants do rise up. Being in the military is male dominated, so definitely it's going to be challenging to prove yourself as a female. I feel like when you're put in leadership positions to like lead guys and tell them about the sergeant told you to do X, Y, or Z, Mm -hmm. it's hard sometimes to get them to do it because they don't want to listen to a female. Female who's of a lower rank. They feel intimidated and you always have to be constantly proving yourself. After duty may be something that you want to do, or if you want to travel the world. My dream ultimately was to become a doctor, have a pharmaceutical background, 
and be able to open a pharmacy back home mm -hmm. because the pharmaceutical industry does need some support from people who are educated outside of Barbados. So I hope in the next 10 years I will be captain, a doctor, <laughs> in the army, um, having opened up at least one pharmacy or a few in Barbados. So that's where I think I, I would like to be in the next 10 years in the army.